All right, guys, I got the oil um, for the silver trackhawk. I was gonna change it myself, but it's honestly not worth it. I'd rather pay $20, have somebody do it. As you can see, it has the oil change required light on and the oil is really dark when it first came in. So we're gonna get that replaced. We're gonna go back home and get into today's video. So this is what we got here. What you got, got here, buddy? Got the raid on the rear here. Okay, red. Those are my truck. Just know they're mine now. Okay, show them what you got. Oh, look, look Take us through the quirks and features. You mean the quirks and the features? Uh, I... Quirks and features? <laughs> we just cleaned over here the SS. I got my little duck. Slides with me when I go sliding. Let's go over here to the, let's get straight to it. On the engine. Over here, this is rocking a uh, 6.2 liter supercharged. No, let me correct oh, myself. I said, let me correct myself. It was a regular body. Got the performance package over here. Got the pink coolant. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just know what so, what are these for? So, these look like the. Uh, intake lines <laughs> right here you got the cylinder lines then you got the solenoids with the kilonoids <laughs> you almost smashed my fingers what are you doing let's get right to it
All right, guys, got all the cars out. Pulled both track hawks out. I drove my Halifant today. I haven't driven that thing probably over three weeks. The flat, the back tire is starting to go flat. So I'm probably gonna have to pump the air before I take it home. Um, I got the jailbreak out and I started to use my new drone I picked up a couple days ago. This is supposed to be one of the good ones. This thing was about $1,400. And as you can see, we got some footage on there. Let me know how I did on that. Excuse the wind noise. It's getting pretty windy. It's about to rain in a minute. But I wanted to give you guys an update ever since we got them. Um, let me show you the white one first. You know, supercharged everything. The white one, so after I washed it up, I noticed that there's some more damage on the bumper. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's kinked up over here. This is most likely from the forklift when they load them on the auctions or at the auctions. And I already mentioned this, but this bumper has been previously painted. Um, so I have to redo this, do it the right way. I'm probably gonna plug up these holes at the body shop and have them paint over them. Um, just doesn't look nice with the holes in the bumper. I did thinking about, I did think about getting a cover and then putting like an SRT nameplate on there, but I didn't think it would look too nice. But we already talked about this. I'm gonna have this fixed up, have the fender blended in, have the bumper repaired and I'm blended in halfway so it can match with the colors. And uh, for this one, that's about it. But the brakes on the front, as you can see, the brake dust is everywhere because I've been driving it um, just to get those rotors worked in. And I uh, got some hot spots on there. Um, I want to see if it gets better or not. If it doesn't, then um, I got to replace the rotors and uh, brake pads on the front. But for the interior, we got all detailed, made it look new again. Can't go wrong with that red interior. Look at that. Red interior, red seat belts. This thing goes crazy. Got the uh, floor mats all nice and new. I did power wash those. They came out like literally new. Um, what do you guys think? Should I take off the tint off the tail light? It does look nice. I mean, I don't know if you can see it now, but the light does shine through it. And at the nighttime, um, you can still see, you know, the brake light and the daylight going. But nothing much in the trunk. Um, I did wash this mat as well. I think this one came with a full size spare. Yes, it did. And that was it for this one. Let me show you guys around it real quick. And I'll talk, I'll tell you guys the prices at the end of the video, what I'm asking for them. I'll show you the inside. Looks real good. The only light that's on the dash is for the, um, let will start up for a second. The drive assist, which is this one over here. I shut off the park sensors. You can put those back on. Uh, but what's weird is that they both have the same thing going on. The light is on and it says lane sense unavailable or something. Um, so it might just um, it might just be something I have to clear and it'll fix itself. But if not, I have to get it scanned. My scanner isn't working at the moment and uh, see what's going on with that. But that's it for this one. Let's move on to the other one. This one has 57,000 miles, almost close to 58. Now we're moving on to the silver one. This is the jailbreak. I'll give you guys a quick overview on it when we're done. Uh, both of them are stock, nothing done underneath the hood. Both have factory intakes, nothing, nothing going on there. This one has a nice set, clean, uh, nice set of clean tires, Continentals all the way around. Now, if you watch the video when I took delivery of it, I had a nice big old ding right in this quarter panel, but we had a repair today and you can't even tell it was even there. Let's see if you can get the corner of it, but it was right over here. It was probably the size of a golf ball. It was dinged right in there. I had a ding on the quarter panel, not at the quarter. It had a ding right here in the trunk. He fixed that and had a ding. Where was the other one? The other one was over here. So I had three dings in total and you can't you can't even tell anymore. I had those done at uh, PDR so you don't have to get it painted uh, because if we had to get this painted, you got to paint the door to match it and you got to bond with this. So, uh, it makes more sense to have it done with paintless and uh it looks good now i ordered this one a new weather strip this one is like faded has some white mark on it and this one has a dent in it so we're gonna two two of those and i also ordered this part over here it was missing uh, i already showed you guys this part i have to get this fixed and this fixed and i want to see if they could fix this without painting the whole door maybe they could just brush over it and make a blend in and still keep the original paint everywhere else. But let me get the key for this. We'll give you guys a start up and I'll show you what's going on. But here's the white one, came with one key only. 
and there's a key for the other one now this one came with no key from the auction uh, we had this program this is a new key from the dealer this one does have lower miles though we also got this one detailed looks like brand new this one does have the rest seat belts this one has 50,000 miles 50,182 but like i said they both had that same light i shut off parking so you can turn it back on um but option wise they they really both have the same options nav you got your standard uh heated vented seats heated steering wheel you can turn on any backup camera from here uh but not not too much going on on this one um unfortunately i broke the windshield on this one um when they first got delivered because these are these are both theft recoveries so they walked off the vans on both of them uh this one had the weather strip you can still see it right over there it was covering the vin so i tried to put a tool back there um to fix that and it snapped the window so as you can see right there it has a big nice crack in there so i gotta get the windshield replaced now but as, at least i can see the vin although they gotta pop the windshield off so i'm probably gonna fix that even more so we can see the vin a bit better um this one here also had no damage no accidents it was just had dent in the quarter panel area and uh, missing a key and this is the way i got it so they are both for sale we'll talk about the health in a second these are both for sale the, they both are 2018s the silver and the white one i mean of course i'm gonna have this fixed up they are both getting inspected tomorrow uh we have to go through a salvage inspection once they get totaled out like this um the salvage inspector will sign them off we'll get them recertified and they'll be ready for sale the white one is a 2018 red interior sunroof uh red seat belts has 58 how much 57 on this one 50 no 57 close to 58 um i'm asking 69 on this one um or best offer as i'll leave the information for the contact here in a second and this one here is a 2018 also no accidents they both have salvage rebuild titles and i'm asking 68 on this one so uh to first come first serve I'm, I'm asking pretty reasonable i mean compared to the market and what they're going for but if you think you can show me a better offer i'm always open for that um, now to answer some of the questions people in the comment section on the last video were asking why if they were stolen and they got found how come they didn't get returned to the owner um, now from what i know is i could i could be wrong on this but when these get stolen and they pass a certain amount of time um, the insurance will pay out the owner and then if they find it like how they found these the insurance will sell them back to whoever wants to buy them so i bought both of these um, the same day if you guys watched the previous video we took delivery of them both the same day and that's how I got them. So I bought these off insurance.